Many start the year with the mantra, New Year, New Me. I know, you probably said it too. And I don't blame anyone for saying it because it's an hopeful expression with the belief that this year will unveil their best self. But the real question is, how? How exactly can you level up and how can you unlock your best self in the year 2024? If you're unsure, I got you. This is exactly why I made this video. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Bumi Victor and in this video we'll be discussing 10 transformative habits that you can start this year to unlock your best self. I also started this year like many of you wondering what I can do to level up. This video is not an expert opinion. This video is an open letter to myself and I hope that you find value in it. I'll be breaking this a bit into two the internal and the external. I do believe that the internal one is more important and that's why I'll be starting with it. But before we go on, I'd like to take a minute or a couple of seconds from your time by asking you to subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe to the channel. I'm just gonna wait. I'll give you a couple of minutes to do it. I'll wait. Go on, go on. Just do it. That wasn't so hard, was it? Thank you so much for putting this smile on my face and you've made my day, probably my month. So now let's get into the habits. First habit will be for you to transform your mind. Be that transformed by the renewing of your mind yourself, but your mind of evil acts, evil thoughts, evil habits. Just try to purge yourself. Everything starts from the mind. You know how people say for you to have affirmation? Imagine if you're standing up every day looking at yourself in the mirror and telling yourself those powerful words. But if you don't believe those words in your mind, if your mind is not set right, guess who will still go about feeling exactly the opposite of everything you've said out loud to yourself. So the first thing is for you to renew your mind. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So if you want to be transformed, if you want to level up, you need to think it in your mind. And I know that I might be oversimplifying it right now, making it seem like that's all you need to do. But I'm just saying that that is a good starting point. Every big thing, everything that you can see and feel started as a thought. So renew your thoughts, renew your mind. The second point would be for you to be true to yourself. To thyself, be true. This is knowing your capacity, your ability, your worth. You need to do a self-assessment. Know what you can do. Know what you're capable of doing. Know what you can do also. Sometimes people are busy looking at what they can do instead of looking at what they can do also. I'm not saying don't aim for the star and shoot for the moon or how do they say it. I'm just saying that you need to be true to yourself. It's okay if you want to you want to bite more than you can chew or you want to set your goal so big but you need to first know where you stand you need to know what you can do you need to know your values you need to know ways for you and that goes for friendship too whatever friendship that you're in that is not serving you remove yourself from it if, if you're a bad friend to someone remove yourself from that person if someone is a bad friend to you take yourself out of that situation do not remain where you should not be place value on yourself I know people come online to say I carry myself with a lot of value but to thyself be true do you really have value do you carry yourself like you have value because people say it, talk is cheap lying to yourself is you carrying yourself without value you need to tell yourself the hard truth I know the Lulu is the Solulu but in your the Lulu make sure that you know what you can do the third point is for you to pour into yourself you can't pour from an empty vessel if you want to level up you need to have something in you and it doesn't matter if right now you feel like you don't have a lot just pour into yourself and pouring into yourself could be in different forms it could be by reading a book it could be listening to a podcast it could be registering for a course it could be signing up for a boot camp anything do not leave yourself empty. Make sure to pour into yourself. And you know, at the end of the year, people always come online with the books they've read. You could see someone who said, who oh, have read 150 books this year. And there you are, you, you haven't even read two. And you're thinking, oh, maybe I'm a failure because I haven't been able to read books. No, you need to be true to yourself. You need to understand how you learn. 
if reading is not your vibe there are a lot of educative podcasts out there just find what works best for you it's not going to be a one size fits all everybody would not learn the same way so find the one that works for you I like to read but find out that i sort of take a lot of time to read my books what i've started to do this year is to borrow books i think i started last year i borrow books instead of buying it if i outrightly own a book i take my sweet time to read the book but if it's borrowed there's a pressure that i need to return it at a particular time and i set realistic targets for myself for when i'm going to finish it so i can return it and get another one if that's something that you want to try you can try it out Point number four would be for you to practice gratitude. I know how hard it can be for us to see what's right in front of us because we have a thousand that we're chasing. But you need to take our time to practice gratitude. Look at what you've been able to achieve. If you can write it down, do. Just try to sit down and think about things that you already have, things that you're currently doing that are fine, instead of just thinking about the things that are not going well. Personally, I didn't used to like celebrating birthdays because I feel like birthdays are reminders of things I've not been able to do. But that changed for me when I started to think about my little wins. I started to focus on those ones instead of focusing on the whole lot that I've not done. Sometimes I've even done other things that I didn't write down before. But you would not realize it if you're not practicing gratitude sometimes we're thinking to ourselves oh i would like to travel the world or oh, my life is not going well because i'm not traveling because so so person has been traveling the world and you're beating yourself up about that but there's somebody right now that is on their sick bed and they just want to stand up they just want to be able to walk they're not even asking to travel the world so you get it you're there thinking about the fact that you've not been able to travel but someone else just wants to stand up and be able to walk if you don't practice gratitude, you would not realize the blessings that you have. You will continue to chase things that you've not been able to get when you can hold on to what you have and be happy. Count it all joy and practice gratitude. The fifth one is for you to find a hobby and cleanse your social media. Find something productive to do. Once you start to do it, it becomes an habit. Cleanse your social media. You know what you're trying to do. You're trying to elevate yourself. You're trying to unlock your best self. Look at your social media right now what you're consuming does it look like things that is going to help you unlock your best self if everything you do is to follow gossip blogs we all love a good gossip but if that's all you do does that align with the fact that you want to unlock your best self does that look like the best self that you're trying to unlock if it doesn't let go of it if there are celebrities influencers that you're following and they do not align with your value or things that you're trying to do let go of them and find other things to fill those spaces for the external the first thing i would say is for you to have a plan and stick with it plan your day and stick with it i'm not saying plan the entire day from start to finish but maybe little things that you can do like having a time to sleep a time to wake up that could help you have a better day personally i don't sleep on time at night and then i wake up in the morning and i'm grumpy then I sort of rely on coffee to stay alive or stay awake during the day. Then I get energy to whatever it is I need to do that day. And then at night, the cycle continues. I don't sleep on time, wake up late the next day, rely on coffee to leave. It's not making sense. If I'm able to commit to a time to sleep and a time to wake up, then it would help. I know it's general knowledge to sleep eight hours, but I would say to sleep enough for you to complete your activities the next day. If you you can make do with two hours of sleep and the next day you are up and you are active and you're able to do everything i need to do by all means do two hours but no you're not allowed to get 24 hours because i know i will i'll choose 24 hours if i can just to lay in my bed and sleep second point is for you to eat all day and drink water i know you hear it a lot drink water and mind your business but really we need to eat all day to be able to look our best self you can tell yourself all sort of things internally but if you look in the mirror and you don't like what you see you still don't like what you see and it probably makes you feel some type of way respect your body enough to feed yourself the right things and drink water i don't like drinking water but recently i was forced to start drinking water so i found a way to help me drink water because i don't like water for all the reasons why i should like water one i don't like the fact that water is tasteless so usually i'll put something in water maybe a lemon slice or a sweetener something just to give it taste for me to be able to enjoy it but now that i've been forced to forced in quotes to drink more water i found ways to drink water so i got myself one of those two liters bottles and it has like time across it saying what time i should drink water so that sort of helps me it gives me a good challenge 
when I look at the bottle and I'm saying that I haven't had enough water for that time, you see me grab my bottle and drink it like my life depends on it. And that has helped. So if, if it's something that you struggle with, if it's eating healthy that you struggle with, just find something that can motivate you to eat well and drink water. The third point will be for you to get moving. Get moving doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to the gym. If you can go to the gym, by all means do it. But if you cannot, then focus on keeping your body moving. I know that now a lot of people work remotely, or there's this flexibility that comes with work, which means that people are beginning to embrace a sedentary lifestyle, but you need to get moving. So if you can't go to the gym like me, if you're too lazy to go to the gym, I'd suggest doing longer short walks. This walk sort of helps you clear your mind. It gives you the energy. It exercises your body also. If you can get a skipping rope, you can also do that. There are also indoor exercises that you can do. Anything and everything to make sure that you're moving. The fourth point would be for you to invest in personal hygiene and how you look. So you don't want to be someone who is smart, knowledgeable, but people need to keep their distance because of body odor or mouth odor. Or people already see you coming from afar and they've judged that this person will probably not know what they're saying. So invest in personal hygiene. And this is not something expensive, but it roll on. Like, no, before roll on, have your bath, have a shower. Because sometimes people think now having their bath and just slapping on cologne, perfumes would help. No, wear clean clothing, clean underwear, get a roll on. They're really inexpensive. You can get an inexpensive perfume from Zara or Bath and Body Works, Body Mist, anything to just add a little extra. But the most important one would be to get a deodorant and wear clean clothing. Then also dress how you want to be addressed. You don't want to be walking around with knowledge or an elevated mindset, but looking like someone who isn't. So dress how you want to be addressed. The last but not the least, the fifth point would be for you to write. Write down your thoughts, write down your plans, keep a gratitude journal if you can, write down your thoughts. I know some of you do be thinking crazy things, write it down. And whatever it is that you're thinking, write it down. That probably would help you know that you're crazy. <laughs> Jokes apart, but well, just write down your thoughts, write down your plan. It helps. You know when they say the faintest pain is mightier than the smartest brain? I don't know if that's the way they say it, but really, just write it down. Sometimes writing helps you to hold yourself accountable. Sometimes it also helps you to keep it in check. Like you can go back to it and see what you've written. But sometimes you think about things and they just fly out of your head. But if you've written it down, you can have a look at it. Write it down, make it plain, put it somewhere where you can see it. It helps you check whether you're on track or you're derailing. Start a journal. It doesn't have to be a gratitude journal, but start a journal. Write what you're thinking, write what's going on with you just write whatever comes to you just write it and as to your plans make sure you write it make it plain make it bold make it smart in a way that they're realistic they're achievable they're measurable it's time bound and you're able to look at it and see if you've been able to do those things per time it helps when you have them written down you can always go back to it and see where you are on those things and sometimes it even gives you like genius ideas because you've written it down, you can revisit it and look at it and see what you want to do about it. And if you're feeling down, sometimes looking at what has happened a couple of days back or months back can lighten your mood. So just have it written down. And that will be everything I have for you today. Let me know the ones you're feeling. Let me know the ones you're thinking of trying out. Let me know the ones that you have that are probably not in my list. I would like to hear from you because like I said, this is an open letter to myself. I'm also trying to learn to see what I can do. So if you have any suggestions or things that you're trying out that are currently working for you or habits that you think like minds that are trying to level up should imbibe please leave them down below don't be a stranger i'd love to hear from you thank you so much for stopping by and i'll see you in my next one bye